All right. Thanks for tuning in to my channel, The Eclectic Life. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the Harbor Freight 40 pound capacity sandblaster. I've had it for a few months and I have not been disappointed. I take that back. The only disappointing thing with this was the light on the inside. I don't even use the light. I actually use my own light. I just put it right here. And it stays there pretty good. Lights up the area. I can move it around if I'm working with a big piece in here. And uh, if I'm working on a certain area of that piece, I can move the light around so I can really see what's going on. So today, I should say tonight we're going to be sandblasting these motor mounts these are the actual mounts that go on the engine block themselves they're in great shape for definitely for as old as they are they're not bent they're not scarred up they don't really have too much rust on them either just some surface rust but we're going to clean them up with a sandblaster and so i'm going to show you what they look like before and what they look like after so here they are before you know just just dirty as heck you know it's got a little bit of surface rust around here you know anything within close proximity of the engine an older engine is not really going to have too much rust because it's going to stay kind of lubricated or soaked in oil you know just different different fluids coming off the engine and just the age of it as well you know, when you get grease on something, unless you clean it off a brake cleaner, it's going to be there pretty much forever. And that's going to keep any kind of rust from happening. So we're going to sandblast these. I've got two of them in there. And the other one looks pretty much just like this one. So I'm going to get busy. And also I have a bolt I want to show you. Just, just so you can see the difference between pre-sandblasting and post-sandblasting. So here's the bolt. It's pretty rusted up. It's pretty gnarly looking. It's not the worst one, but it's definitely, you can see it's got some age on it. So what I plan on doing with all the bolts that I do reuse is I plan on giving all the bolts that are, in, because these are 10.9. So they got a very good um, strength rating on them. And so if nothing's wrong with them, I'm definitely gonna reuse them. So what I was getting at is, I'm gonna give all these bolts a black oxide treatment to keep them from rusting in the future. And also makes them look really, really nice. So I'm gonna get started. I'll just give you a little you know, rundown on my setup. So I've got glass bead in here uh, it's just glass bead that I got from Northern Tool it seems to be the best deal it's like 15 bucks for 40 or 50 pound bag and it's crushed glass uh, it says it's medium grit I'm not too worried about the grit on it it gives a nice finish on everything that I've done I've done aluminum I've done steel and both of them ended up with a really nice, a smooth, but not too smooth of a finish. You kind of want a, a light edge to it, so the powder will stick to it. But you want it to be pretty smooth too. You don't want it to be like you sanded it with, you know, 80 grit sandpaper or 60 grit sandpaper. And so yeah, I've got the 40, uh, I've probably got 25 pounds worth of material in here right now and I've get I seem to be getting a pretty good life out of that material I haven't even used the whole bag I think I've maybe I've used half of it thus far so I've got a shot bag right over here pointed outside because sometimes the dust does make it through and if you leave the shot bag inside I notice that if you're sandblasting for a really long time you will accumulate some dust in the air in here and I'm not trying to breathe in uh, sandblasting dust all the time so it may get loud but once I get done 
I'll turn everything off and show you what's going on. Thanks for watching my channel. All right, we're all done. I just did one motor mount and I did that bolt. I'll finish up tomorrow. So you remember what it looked like before. Actually, let me grab the old one. Alright, so here's the old one right here, and here's the new one. I would say it looks pretty much like a brand new one. Now, my hands are very dirty right now, so typically after you uh, um, sandblast an object, you're not going to touch it with your bare hands. You're going to put gloves on or pick it up with a rag because any oil will smudge on there and affect the powder coat. Any dust or grease or anything like that. Me personally, I wash mine off after I get done sandblasting, make sure all the sand's off of it and everything, especially if it's going near an engine uh, and just to get them clean and then blow them dry with air, compressed air and then Never touch them with your bare hands after you sandblast them. So, like I said, here's the new one, or the uh, sandblasted one, and here's the old one right here. Pretty drastic difference, I'd say. Here's the bolt. You remember what it looked like before. It was it was pretty rough looking. It looks like pretty much a brand new bolt now. I mean, it looks brand new. And this bolt is probably 28 years old, 27 years old. So I'd say that's uh, pretty darn good right there. And that's gonna look great once I get um, it get the uh, black oxide coating on it. It's just kind of a chemical treatment you do. And it's actually a form of rust, if I believe, or corrosion, if I remember correctly. And it just gives it kind of a protective coating by uh, preventing uh, further rust uh, to take place on the surface of the metal. So aluminum, you would have anodizing it, and steel, you can black that oxide treatment. There's some other treatments, I'm not very familiar with them, so I'm just going to do the black oxide. I'm pretty impressed with the, with the way this uh, bolt turned out. So if all of them turn out this good, there, there's no need to buy new bolts, so just use these. Because like I said, they got, uh, got a 10.9 um strength rating so yeah they're good to go all right thanks for watching my channel the eclectic life if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the thumbs up button and if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe we're trying to get as many subscribers as possible we're a new channel but we've got a lot of uh 
different interesting content coming up if there's anything you'd like to see that you've heard me talk about in any of my videos leave it in the comments and as always if you have any questions about anything in this video or any of my other videos make sure you don't hesitate to ask away um, just leave it in the comments or if you have any concerns or you want me to explain any anything in more detail let me know in the comments. So, thank you very much.